Welcome to our introduction to the SolidWorks video tutorial by videotutorials.net. We hope that you enjoy this course and good luck with your work as a SolidWorks engineer. First of all, let's talk about how to run SolidWorks on your computer. SolidWorks requires a fair amount of power. A good processor to start with is an E8500 and at least 2 gigabytes of RAM. If you go to the SolidWorks website, we'll find some information on which video card SolidWorks supports. Training and support, technical support, Scroll down and select System and Graphic Card Requirements. Select the vendor that manufactures your video card. Personally, I use an NVIDIA. Then select the software version, the operating system, and you can select Show All Cards. Scroll through the list, look for your card to see if it's tested, certified, etc. The video cards for SolidWorks 2009 are all basically PCI Express video cards. If you've got RGP slots on your computer, you can use the Quadro FX3000 card, for example. To understand what the model numbers refer to, let's try going to a vendor's website, let's say NVIDIA. We select the product, Quadro, then FX. Here are the various model numbers. Got entry products, high end solutions, mid range products, ultra high end solutions, etc. If you're just starting out, the entry level will work just fine. If you're running a card that's not tested by SolidWorks, for example, the Quadro FX for NVIDIA, or if you're running another video card, you most likely won't have the Real View option available. Let me show you where that is Real View Graphics. If you happen to have some video issues like a frozen screen, a flickering screen, or a black screen, you can try the following. Right-click on your desktop, select Properties, Settings, select the monitor where you're running SolidWorks, and click Advanced. Now go to the Troubleshoot tab. For hardware acceleration, move the slider to the None setting. Apply and OK. I'm going to cancel out. Also, try this. Close any open part document. Now go to Options, System Options, open the Performance branch, and check Use Software Open GL. This will most likely resolve your display issues, but at the very least, as I mentioned before, you may not have the Real View Graphics option available to you. And this concludes our introduction to SOLIDWORKS. We hope that you enjoy this course by videotutorials.net.